I'm gonna cake a bounty bar, but a giant bounty bar. I'd say this is one of my top five chocolate bars. You know what I love most about bounty? There's two bars in one. I think it's just psychological. You just feel like you're getting more. You're not getting more, but you feel like you're getting more. It worked, Bounty. Good job. What are your favorite chocolate bars? Let me know. Maybe I'll cake it. Everyone vote on each other's favorite chocolate bar. Like if you see someone has commented, I don't know, oh Henry, and that's your favorite, then make sure to like that comment and then I'll cake that chocolate bar. So this, apparently this sort of little wave, these little mounds of chocolate are the trademark. But I know that a machine does this. That's why they look exactly the same. But I am not a machine. I'm still working out in my head how to do this. But until then, I'm gonna start by, you know a bounty is just coconut inside, right? So I have to put cake in it. This is how to cake it. So I'm gonna start by leveling this chocolate cake. And this is a chocolate coconut cake. So there's shredded coconut inside the chocolate batter. The whole chocolate bar has to be three inches, so it'll be like half coconut, half cake. I think that's a good ratio. Now is cut the shapes. Look at you. It's like shoes. At this point, you can change your mind and make shoes. No, not doing that. I want a bounty bar. I want you to come in because we were just discussing the cake off for my birthday. This is what's gonna happen. You and Orhan are gonna write down on a paper your three top choices of cakes to make. And if there's an overlap, that's what you're making. Are you ready for the challenge? Oh, guys, this is coconut simple syrup. Ha <laughs> ha! How did you make this? I should have made it on camera, but can we go back in time and show them how? I need sugar and I need coconut water, please. I can't make it stay still. So I'll make it a little bed. What about an Allen key? Look, I just invented a coconut carrier. <laughs> okay, ready? Let's see. Oh, we're gonna get a lot of simple syrup out of this. You could have just given me this from the start. So this is coconut cake and coconut simple syrup and then there's gonna be coconut butter cake. That's right. Filling. Well, this is a chocolate coconut cake. Coconut simple syrup a coconut filling, like a bounty bar, and then it's covered in chocolate. And yes, there'll be coconut buttercream between the layers. All right, I've got my Italian meringue buttercream as usual, and then I have cream of coconut. This is getting really hard to find for us, I gotta tell you. What's this problem with coconut? I don't know, I don't know, it's coconuts. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna flavor this buttercream, and I just flavor it to taste, because I love myself. No, I'm sorry, I did put a ratio in my book, Layer Up, but I'm just gonna wing it today because I'm wild, I'm wild like that. Mm. Guys, I'm done. Thanks for joining me, I caked a tray. There we go. Look at that. Juice. No, bounty bars. So I'm going to make the coconut mixture that goes inside the giant bounty bar cake. So there's six cups of shredded sweetened coconut in each one of these bowls. And to that, I'm gonna add one and a half cups of condensed milk. Because I'm not baking it, I have to make sure it's sturdy enough to stand up on the cake, which was the same kind of problem I had with Twix. The caramel was sturdy when it was cold, and then as the cake sat out for beauties. Wild and, where's my fondant smoother? Is it in my fondant kit? All right. I have to press it down so it'll get. Are you putting the entire thing on it? Yes. Yes, dude, this is a bounty bar. It has to be bountiful. Yeah. I call my son dude all the time. I don't know how I feel about that. Hold on. Okay, oh! It's only a little higher. So maybe I can compress it. I also think it has too much of a dome. It's not really dome. Like it's quite flat except for the chocolate on top. Wait till you feel how heavy it is. Uh-huh. 
Okay, so this is my second Bounty Bar cake. It's ready. I chose not to bake my coconut condensed milk mixture. I think the inside of the Bounty Bar is quite moist and dense, so I'm good with that decision, but I do need to chill this so that it's ready to cover with chocolate. And I still have to think about how to mimic these little chocolate ripples. So I'm going to make coconut macaroons. They're very simple to make. Is this so people who don't want to make giant cake bounty. can feel like they're part of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't, don't all them. have a day to make a giant cake? What are you talking about? I have sweetened shredded coconut, sweetened condensed milk, vanilla, and a pinch of salt. And then I also have two eggs, which I will only use the whites of. The first step is to mix all these ingredients, these three ingredients, into the coconut. Then I'm gonna put that aside, whip my egg whites, and fold it into this mixture. Yeah, I gotta be careful. So these eggs are room temperature because I'll get more volume, but a cold egg is easier to separate. Take this noise outside. Hello. You see those? Okay, so now I'm gonna fold these whites into this coconut mixture. And now I can scoop this mixture onto my trays. Okay, so I've melted the dark compound chocolate and now I'm just gonna dip my coconut macaroons, which are fully cool. I'll just dip the bottom a little and put it on a brand new clean tray. gonna make some cute little tiny cakes, like two bite cakes, almost like a little petty four. So with my cake hump that I've leveled, I'm going to cut out some circles of cake. You can do whatever shape you want. And then I'm gonna simple syrup them with my coconut simple syrup. And then I'm just gonna pipe on some beautiful coconut buttercream and top it with some coconut chips. So I decided to make these little ripples with buttercream. Wish me luck. I don't know if I have what it takes. I'm gonna have to like pipe it on. Just talking to myself. And then smooth it. So I have compound chocolate, I have milk, I have dark. I'm thinking I'm gonna use the milk to cover the big bounty bar cakes because when I compare it, this looks very similar. Just like a bounty bar, I need to cover my cakes bottom and top. And I didn't think about that because I went ahead and piped the buttercream on top, so now I can't flip my cake over. So what I'm gonna do is melt this chocolate, spread a little on this silicone baking mat, and then lift my cake, place it on top. Chill it, and then hopefully if it works, when it works, I'll be able to peel this off the bottom of the cake and then move the cake to a rack and pour chocolate. Wish me luck. Oh, look at that. Ready? Oh God, help me, Shuchi. Oh boy, this is, see, I have to like move fast but slow. Does that make sense? Yeah. To make sure every part of it is covered, otherwise. Come on, there. Otherwise. You'll see all the lines. It's 
bountiful. I love cutting through chocolate though. Oh, I should have had a bigger knife. So, hello. Hello. What is your favorite chocolate bar? Do you want to see me cake it? And vote on each other's answers, and then I'll cake something. I'm delirious, and now I'm filled with sweet coconut. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next week. What am I caking next week? You just have to come back and see.